All right, we are getting an introduction to Serbian food today. Sylvia from A Taste of Nature, which is a brand new food truck, is here to show how, us how to make one of her popular meat pies. Good to have you with us Hi, today. Yeah, how you doing? Thank you. Thanks for having me. Good. Good to have you with us today. All right. We've got a lot of cool things here that we're we going to talk about in a second, but you've got this brand new food truck yes, and one of the big dishes is a burek. meat. All right. All right. So say that one more time. Burek. All right. Which is actually a what? Just a it's a Serbian pie. Okay. It's, it's a type of like Serbian pie. It's pretty much um, phyllo mm -hmm. and uh, with meat, the grass-fed beef and onions. All right. So right now you've got the uh, the onions and the uh, the, the meat that is uh, going here. And yes, you said one of the things that you like to do is you like to use local product, all yes, organic. Exactly. We pr support our local farmers, so we use all local uh, product. Everything is coming from Tennessee. Our meat, our products, our even down to spices. So pretty much everything is organic. So we like to just use a very pretty much the name of the company is Taste of Nature. So okay. pretty much sticking to the name. All right, fantastic. So now is this just regular hamburger bean or ground beef or what type of meat are you using here? This is 85-15% uh, percent of fat and uh, it's uh, just a grass-fed beef and it's already like very much seasoned mm -hmm. and everything and uh, we saute the onions okay. and then we added the ground beef and uh, when you prepare the recipe, you don't want to get it like all the way done uh, because it's gonna still cook in the in the oven. Okay. So um, this is pretty much good right now, like that. All and right, then super. after that, after we're done with this, what we will do, we will finish it up here. Okay. And pretty much the first thing we want to do, we actually set it up. You don't have to use uh, club soda, mm -hmm. but we actually do um, use it. It's a little bit better. It's a better taste on it. So we will mix up vegetable oil as well as um, the club soda you can use regular water okay and then we will just drizzle a little bit of uh, of the mixture so that soften it up a bit or exactly it will after the end it will be very crunchy mm -hmm. like uh, it's not going to be like because of the water it's not going to be soggy it's going to be actually really crunchy and let's tell people what you're using here you could you actually make these yourself we do. but if folks want to, to buy them this is what they would look for yeah, pretty much yeah this is an organic product it is we got it from whole foods so you can get it if you want to stick just like me uh, for the organic products most of them you can get it at the whole foods some other places but we got this one in particular at the whole foods all right, fantastic. So we've got this here, and now it's just kind of a process of layering it, isn't it? Exactly. All right, yes. so that's what it's going to look like. Once you sauteed the meat, that's what it will look like right there. Looks very good for us there, so that looks good. We'll get that under the camera in a nice shot. And now the process is filling the pie. And, and, and from an American standpoint, is it kind of like a, a pot pie that you would think of from uh, from an American standpoint? Not or quiet, not because quiet? it does have a lot of layers. Okay. So now if we just dump that in and then put a fill out, that will kind of look like a, a pot pie. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and use a little bit of the beef mixture. And we're going to put it everything up here. Okay. And we're going to put the cilantro in there for extra flavor. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of that. So, okay. okay. So, after we're done with that, here you go. I'll take that for you. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, after we're done with the first layer, mm -hmm. so we want to do is use more phyllo. Okay. And you can actually tear it apart by just pretty much oh, breaking okay. it down. Yeah. Because it, when you put it like this, and you will actually get a better, like higher, okay. higher texture of that. So, we would do. All right. And so once you're done, how many different layers would you do? After we will finish with the whole thing, after you're done with this, so mm -hmm. then we will put more of the of the mixture. Okay. And then again, layer of the meat. All right. So pretty much that's what we will do. And then we'll put more meat. All right, so as you put this next layer in, you've yes. also got some other cool dishes that we've got some uh, a video of and yes. that you've got on our table here. So as you were doing this, tell me about some of the other things. you got a big-looking burger over there. <laughs> tell me about that burger. The burger we have is a grass-fed beef burger. It's a pico de gallo with uh -huh. mango and cilantro. Okay. And we got some sriracha, mayo-based, and... Uh, the homemade buns. All right, so you've got that. Then next to it here, we've got some other cool deals. Uh, tell me about this real quick. That is our uh, dessert. It's called Serbian Oblande. Mm -hmm. So Oblande is made with the two different type of fillings. We got our stuffed peppers. There's also grass-fed beef as well as uh, some rice and uh, 
found that. This is our okay. popular Serbian dish that we mostly have on our uh, Christmas and stuff like that. So it's lots of cool stuff that I you've know, got with us I here. Know. You've got another it's dessert a, type dish here. Yes, lots sir. of great things. The full recipe on this is on our website. This is recipe number 5341. You can find it on our website at newschannel5.com. And what we'll also do is you'll find information on the food truck Taste of Nature food truck, and you'll find that link from our website as well. But as always, thank it you very much for being here. Thank it's you great so to meet much. you too. Yeah, thank you. All right.